What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there in this new year. Doing pretty good myself and I hope you guys have had a very, very safe beginning of your new year. Because as you know, there's been a lot of chaos that happened over the night. You know, I got a lot of stories. One story was um, one dead and nine injured in a shooting. Some people got burnt up in a house. I mean, it was chaotic on the new years okay but enough of that uh i come across this troubling story right here okay now for those of us that garden you know we do gardening and everything and we grow our own food we are familiar with the term composting okay and of course composting means you would take like uh some i don't know raw vegetables of some sort you know or leaves or grass or whatever and let it just sit until it composts and then you'll take that to nourish the ground that you're going to plant your uh, seeds in you know to grow more food all right well guess what new york has become okay new york becomes six u.s state to green light human composting law okay that's right, you heard me. They want to use dead bodies to compost growing food, okay? I don't know what the fascination is with these devils wanting to turn people in, in adverted cannibals, okay? Because we're not supposed to eat human beings alive or dead. Okay, I don't want to eat nothing like that, alive or dead. Most I said, he gave us strict food laws and what we are to partake of and what we are not to partake of. You understand? And uh, this is a no for me. Okay. Now, to get into this particular article right here, it says New York has become the sixth state in the United States to legalize natural organic reduction popularity known as human composting as a method of burial. Democratic Governor Kathy Hochul signed the legislation on Saturday. Washington was the first state to legalize human composting in 2019, followed by Colorado and Oregon in 2021, and Vermont and California in 2022. I am committed to having my body composted and my family knows that. Howard Fisher, a 63-year-old investor living north of New York, or New York City, that is, told the Associated Press, whatever my family choose to do with the compost after it's done is up to them, okay? Yeah, I'm not down with this kind of filth right here, man. This is sick, all right? Um... The alternative green method of burial aligns with Fisher's philosophical view on life to live in an environmentally conscious way. Okay. Now, if you're wondering who this person is, let me see. I think I still got a picture of him. Uh, let, hang on a second. This is him right here. Let me see if I can get him to come up. Here he is. This is the guy right here. Howard Erin Fisher in Vermont. This dude, you know, talking about he want his body, you know, uses human composting. No, you go in the ground in a casket with a vault cover over it or a mausoleum or cremation and be done with it. Take your ass on. Nobody wants to eat any remnants of you. And that's just all there is to it. See, this is what I'm saying, man. And you wonder why people are getting, you know, uh, sick stay sick all the damn time you know what i mean it's no telling what they are forcing us to eat you know and then it is said you know if you're growing your own food they're coming up with laws for that too you understand nah yeah it's gonna be anarchy here in this country i can tell you that but to continue it says here the process involves the body of the deceased being placed into a reusable vessel along with plant materials such as wood chips, alfalfa, and straw. The organic mix creates the perfect 
habitat, uh, well, habitat for natural occurring microbes to do their work quickly and efficiently breaking down the body in about a month's time. The end result is a cubic yard stack of nutrient dense soil amendment the evaluant well the equivalent of about 36 bags of soil that can be used to plant trees or enrich conservation land forests or gardens why do these people always coming up with filthy shit that's what i like to know what is it with them well i don't have to ask these questions i already know the answer to it they are anti the most high way of doing things they are instead of anything righteous they are against because this is unrighteous right here on so many levels but to continue for urban areas such as new york city where land is limited it can be used as a pretty attractive burial alter alternative even though human composting is now legal in the empire state not everyone is on board with the idea a process that is perfectly appropriate for returning vegetable trimmings to the earth is not necessary well not necessarily appropriate for human bodies dennis post executive director of the new york state catholic conference said in a statement human bodies are not household waste and we do not believe that the process meets the standard for reverent treatment of our earthly remains i'm with dennis on that you know you can come in dennis i'm down with you on that i ain't with this filth now to continue right here in con uh, conclusion it says here cremation uses fossil fuels and burial uses a lot of land and has a carbon footprint katrina spade the founder of Recom what's that recompose a full service green funeral home in Seattle that offers human composting said for a lot of folks being turned into soil that can be turned to grow into a garden or a tree is pretty impactful fuck that you understand what I'm saying yeah it says ashes to ashes dust to dust so you return it all that kind of stuff you know but let that kind of stuff happen naturally don't go and just directly use dead bodies broken down in the compo and all that kind of stuff on our crops. We don't need this. We do not need this. This is filth right here. And that's just all there is to it. But I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.